I've been at a couple different schools, and uh, this is year three for me. My expectation is where we're at right now. Uh, we've recruited in two classes. Uh, we've grown up uh, young freshmen who have started from their first uh, day that they've been on campus. Mm -hmm. Now this is in their second or third season. My expectations obviously is to keep the program growing, moving forward straight ahead, and we've done that. The administration has made the commitment to the Western Athletic Conference in 14. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to keep building and uh, play and recruit to that conference in that level. It's going to be at the national level. I'm really excited for this year because, you know, we've all really come together as a team and you know, it's coming in in the fall, I wasn't so sure what was going to happen. And, you know, come mid-fall, something really clicked. And we came together as a team, and, you know, we're really bought in now. Of Everyone's on the same page, working really hard. I mean, just, just now, we had a couple guys that didn't make our you know, conditioning, and we had they had punishment running. We all did it with them because we, we all bought into that. And, you know, I think at the end of the season, come out successful with the conference championship, and who knows? We start pre-conference, pre well, maybe an at-large bid. Well, guys are excited when they get on campus, whether it's the freshmen, the junior college guys, and then, you know, the fall ends, and then we snap our fingers, and it's February, and now guys are really, really looking to, you know, face that outside competition, maybe get in the trenches, uh, shake off, you know, that bus ride, get the butterflies out during the first couple innings, go toe-to-toe -to -toe against BYU, uh, face off against Tech, and then hopefully, uh, you know, finish up a good weekend against Northern Illinois, get back here, and uh, roll from there. It was really tough. I was really looking forward to last season, and with the medical setback, you know, at first it was devastating, and I thought I was done. Um, but it really was a, a big growth for me, growth experience. Uh, you know, I love baseball, but it, it made me realize that there's more to life than baseball, and it also uh, grew me in my faith a lot. Um, you know, I'd like to thank God that I'm back here and healthy, ready to play again, and it's just motivation to say. You know, it was taken away like that last year, and it's just so every day I just come to the field with an enthusiasm to say this could be the last day, so why not give everything I have? I couldn't ask for a better guy, um, better leader, and a better character. I mean, that kid is going into medical school next year. He's going to be a professional. Uh, he's a bear for life. I'm proud of him. He's he's he's. Uh, battled through injuries, as you know, and he's back here um, in his fifth year. Early in the season last year, you know, he got out there for a scoreless inning, really, really showed signs of improvement, live arm, and he was hitting the ball well, too, just snagged up and ran into an injury. Now, I think in this preseason, he's hitting above 400. Uh, he's working on the mound. He's thrown a scoreless inning as well. So ho hopefully it'd be a win-win situation for us if he can do both, but he's just a uh, guy who's extremely competitive. He's definitely going to hit for us. He'll see some time on the mound, but uh, the more Ben Packard's in there, the better off we'll be. Ben's been great. I've been able to learn so much from Ben. Uh, me and him have grown really, really close. Um, he's an unbelievable leader. He works hard every single day, and uh, he's, he's very talented. And uh, I think he's one of the guys that I've definitely been able to learn the most from, not only on, but off the field, too. You know, Harry's awesome. We've been together now for four years, and we're the only two that have been here for at least four years on this team. And it's it's really cool, you know, that we've experienced so m many different things on this team. And he brings experience of this program, of, you know, of baseball, of just so many different things. He lightens the mood around the team. He, but at the same time, he's not just, you know, a clown. He, uh, he brings a lot of talent to the field and behind the dish. The toughest position here at UNC is the catchers. I'm a former catcher. Coach Perry there is a former catcher. Coach Spees here went to Nebraska as a catcher, and John Hafley was a catcher. So you got four catchers coaching like one guy. Mm -hmm. So um, th that's a good thing, um, and it's a high expectation for that position. And it's always been a leadership position. And again, um, we teach our guys to control the pitching staff, control the game, be a captain, be the quarterback of the ball club. And uh, Harrison has done a great job for us in the last two seasons since I've been back here. If I can be vocal on the field and make it comfortable for everybody else, then uh, that makes it a whole lot easier for them. And you, with a lot of young guys and a lot of guys coming from junior colleges, you know, going into places like Nebraska and Texas Tech, those can, those can be pretty, uh, pretty big time places that can get in your mind and if I can be there and I can calm the pitchers down and calm position players down, I think that helps everyone.
the great thing is um, Colorado early season we've got great weather so we've been out here no excuses we've been out on the field we're not indoors so we're, we're going to be prepared to go inning one and again we have 540 innings to play this year and we just get to start with the first nine next week Friday so I try not to let these guys think too big long long uh, long term picture but nine innings starts next week Friday and we got a long season ahead of us and I think our guys are prepared to get started. Well, I'm going to have three questions.